we're, we're the, the Bradford, Bradford Speedway, Speedway Babes. I'm Tiffany. I'm Scarlett. I'm Shannon. I'm Kelsey. And I'm Kaylee. And you're watching Pit Pass I'm on WHBL. Those lovely young ladies are just part of the attraction at the new Bradford Speedway. Under new management, the quarter mile bull ring just south of the New York border is back to weekly racing. So let's take a look at some highlights from their Friday night program. In the crate late models, 81 Justin Tatlow jumped to the lead after slight contact with the 43 of Garrett Mott. An early challenger for Tatlow was the 24 Brad Messler. But off of turn two, Bob Kish in the five works his outside to take the runner up spot. Messler and Todd Smith tangle to bring out the yellow. On the last lap, Chad Silliman in the 47 tries to take second from Kish while Tatlow goes on to victory. Congratulations, Justin, on the win. Looks at the start of the race, you and Mott made a little contact, and from there you were able to pull away and never look back. Yeah, it's a real tight racetrack, so there's not a whole lot of room out there, uh, especially at the starts in these crate cars. Everyone's trying to get a good jump. Now you're running state line on Saturday nights. Will Bradford be your home on Friday nights? Yeah, they started up in the middle of the season here because they did a lot of uh, revamping of the speedway, so we're going to run here. It's tough with working on Friday nights to get to a place. This is the closest place for us. Raceway 7 is a good hour and a half from us. And uh, describe what it's like running on the track this tight with those short little corners there. I imagine this isn't like anything you've raced on before. Actually, in 02, um, when I started running street stocks, my dad made me run here before I could run anywhere else. Um, and it's just, you're constantly turning. Very, it's a driver's track. You got, there's not a lot of room out there, especially with these wide cars. Will we see you chasing the points in the Northeast Regional Fast Track Series? We were at the beginning of the year. We were up to, I believe, fifth or seventh, right around in there. And finances just didn't come through for us to do it. So we're hoping to get a good showing around home so we can follow that next year. And finally, it's only a couple of weeks in. What do you think of this track and how it's being ran? It's good. Um, you know, they're going to get the kinks out. It's going to be a nice place for us. And anyone that pays decent that's close to home, give us a place to race. We appreciate that. So Justin Tatlow is your winner in the crate late models. Chad Seelman beat Bob Kish to the line to take second. Brad Messler came back to finish fourth with Doug Ricotta in the fifth position. In the street stocks, it was the Chris Austin show. He grabbed the lead at the drop of the green. The 88 of Ted Mascho gets sideways off of turn two after a bump from Josh Wilcox. He makes contact with the 37 of Scott Fuller, but they continue on. But as they go into turn three, Things get dicey again, yet we stay green. Austin would dominate this event, but not before Wilcox takes one last shot at the lead. Chris Austin would hold him off to claim the flag-to-flag -flag victory in the street stocks. Congratulations, Chris, on the win. Now you have prior experience here. I'm sure that helped you. Yeah, we've run around here quite a few years. We've got quite a few wins. Good racing here. And uh, a lot of these guys you're racing against, you're accustomed to racing against some of the other tracks. Oh yeah, we run, almost everybody here runs the same tracks we do right around the area. Now things got a little crazy in that race. I guess things were even worse last week. Yeah, last year I think we ended up and we made about four or five laps. Took us about a half an hour to get that many laps in and we'd gotten wrecked out by then and that was all we seen of it. Obviously you couldn't see it. There's some great battles behind you, but finally Wilcox closed on you and put his nose under you. Yeah, I, I see him back there. I knew he'd be a hard runner. I mean, he runs good. Me and him have a lot of laps together, so I kind of know how he runs. He knows how I run, and we just race clean and hard. In the street stocks, it is Chris Austin victorious over Josh Wilcox, Ted Mascho, Dave Wilson Jr., and Jason Dobson. Here are other results from Friday night's action at the new Bradford Speedway. With the reopening of the track, it certainly gives teams and fans another option on Friday nights. When we come back, Jan will preview some special holiday events. Keep it here. When you think golf carts, think Jake's Custom Golf Carts. With over 300 stock and lifted carts at their shop, you'll find the cart you need or have Jake's build one to your specs. Custom airbrushing, lift kits, sport shifters, rear seats. You name it with the expertise and craftsmanship people have come to expect from Jake's. Come see for yourself why Jake's is the nation's premier golf cart provider. Jake's Golf Carts, Route 520 to McVeigh Town. Online at jakesgolfcarts.com. 